Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today's episode, another DIY project. Are you really that surprised? You may remember in a previous video, we installed an onboard compressor. Come with me. We put that onboard compressor right here. I think this was uh, a little bit of genius on my part because mounting it anywhere under the vehicle when the warning on it says keep in a dry area, really a dry area out there with all the elements and an off-road capable somewhat vehicle, doesn't make sense. So in here, dry as a bone, stays nice and cool, relatively cool anyway, and I think it's safe. But what we wanna to do today, which I've always wanted to do since I've had air systems before in vehicles, was use that compressor for more than just, say, the airbags. I had a lowrider one, so I had four bags on that and it was used to, you know, for the look. But the airbags that you know that I'm referring to are the ones for some towing stability and, and less body roll. So that's all set up, but I wanted to always use the compressor to be able to have a manual fillability for tires, for soccer balls, whatever. So when you're out and about, you got access to air, just like you would at home with a compressor. So. Let me show you some of the things that I got to make this happen. So I apologize for the noise, but that's what happens in reality, because this is really reality TV, right? So anyway, the idea is the air from the compressor, instead of going to the bags like it does now, it would come into this manifold, then it would leave the manifold and it would go to the shutoff valve, rated for 116 pounds. Keep in mind, your airbags, you only run them maybe anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds they're not even gonna to get to 100 pounds. So this is rated good enough for the uh, pressure that we're running in the system. And then it will continue to the airbag. So I can now shut off air to the airbag. So that's closed off. On this side here, we have our quick connect that only allows air to flow through it once I connect the adapter, which will connect to this hose, which will connect to this air chuck, which I can use to fill up tires. And to run the pressure, all I have to do is use the remote for that air compressor because it is remote controlled. If I want 42 PSI in the tires or 35, I just go to that amount, hold the chuck on, and it'll fill it right up to that amount. I don't even have to check the tire pressure after because the computer is doing the work for me. So I think that's pretty cool. And last but not least, I am going to fill, or sorry, install my Schrader valve uh, at the back of the vehicle so I have the ability if I do need to uh, fill up the airbags because the compressor is shot or there's a problem with it, I can do that like this and it won't affect even if I have a compressor in the system because this switch will keep it turned off and isolated which means that it'll be sealed and I can fill it up from this end. So I think it's a pretty good idea in case I pull the compressor for the winter time but either way stay tuned let's go. All right, let's pressure this up, check for some leaks. So I have a little pressure in the line already. We've got the switch on so the airbags will fill up. Let's see what we're at. Okay, we're at 31 pounds, we're gonna go to 50. So the compressor should kick in.
Okay, it's done. Now if you use the app on the phone, it will actually show you the progression as it fills up, but with the remote, it just stops when it gets there. I'll do a screen record of the phone later and superimpose it on here for you. Okay, so we're at 50 pounds. We need to check for some leaks. We got a mix of uh, dish soap and water, and we're just gonna spray all the joints. No leaks. No leaks. Looking good. Good there. Good there. Now this is not how I'm going to mount it when it's all done. I just wanted to hook up the system and make sure we're good at this point. I'll find a way to secure this better. I might even put a, a 90 on there or a 90 on here, or maybe I'll use one of the ends instead of one of the tops. Either way, I'll make it so this quick release is easily accessible. But while we have pressure in the system, let's check the rear bags. No leaks. And no leaks. We are leak free. Okay, let's get this hose uh, ready to work and test it out. All right, now time for the test. We got the hose hooked up. I turned the switch off so the airbags are not getting filled. Okay. I, uh, just because the compressor is noisy, I filled up to 50 pounds of pressure, but it's all about air volume. And this hose from the compressor to here is not holding a lot of air. It might be a 50 pounds of pressure, but the volume that's here is quite small. So if I need to fill up something small, then it should work adequately. But if I want to fill up something like a tire, then there's a cheat or a hack, if you will. That's where I would want to allow the airbags to be part of the system. I would let them pressure up because they would hold that extra volume of air. And then I would be able to send a larger force of air all at once into something like a tire and pump it up quicker. So we'll do that test second. So right now this is just isolated to the hose. We've got a small volume of air at 50 pounds. We got a Partially deflated soccer ball. You're gonna wet the needle as one does. And moment of truth. Okay, now I'm going to turn the airbags back on as part of the system. So now the pressure in the airbags is available to what's here, but we're gonna turn it up a little bit so it's gonna get noisy. Well, let's just turn it up first. We're gonna set it at say 60 pounds. So it'll take a second to get there. It's filling up. Okay, we're at 60 pounds for the entire system. That gives us a larger volume of air to work with. We got a tire gauge here. I made sure this wheel's already a little low. We're just over probably about 23 pounds. So now we're gonna take some of that extra pressure and send it here. So now it's starting to equalize pressure between uh, what's in the truck and what's here. The compressor is gonna kick on. There you go. But as you can see, we're at 25 pounds. So as you can see, it's a little bit slow going, but that's not the point. I have air on demand. I got quick connects. If I want to get the dust off of the top of my intake here, I can blow it out. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. Let's quickly hook up the Schrader valve and then wrap up this video.
All right, we got the Schrader valve installed. I'm pretty happy with some of the fitment and the way you got things buttoned down. I might make some final adjustments down the road, but if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time. Where am I gonna keep this? I already have my button collection in the console. You know that. I have just the place. Come here. Like it was made for it. Boom, done.